In this video, I'm going to show you how to change your clip speed without sounding like a chipmunk. Hello and welcome to Epic Mentorship. This channel teaches you different kind of software and how to be better sharing different kind of tips and tricks. I usually have this issue anytime I try to change my clip speed in my videos, I see the audio changing to a chipmunk style. So if you have this issue, I have this solution for you and I've been using it for quite some time. You can do it with a very free software called Audacity. Audacity is available uh, free of charge. You can just come to your browser, type Google and just type in Audacity and you can see it over here. The first one, audacity.team.org, you can just click. It's a very, very free software. It's available for Mac and um, even Linux and for Windows if you have. Just specify the operating system that you have. You can go ahead and download it and install on your computer. It's very free of charge. So once you install, you can just open it. For example, I have mine installed. You can see it over here, Audacity. You just click to open. And this is a fresh blank project. So all you need is to have an audio that you want to increase the speed on. If you don't have, you can use your own voice if you want. But let's say for this tutorial, I have this um, voice that I want, or you can try to create another one. Let's say we create or record my own. And at this moment, I want to select the recorder. I can come to audio setup and recording device. I want to use my root NT USB and just increase the sensitivity a bit. Okay, to 90. And then we can go ahead and click the record button. Hello and welcome to Epic Mentorship. This channel teaches you different kind of software and how to be better sharing different kind of tips and tricks. So if this is what you want, please feel free to hit the subscribe and notification buttons to be notified anytime I upload a new content. So you can press on the stop recording, press on the stop to stop recording, and we can hear the voice one more time, the normal speed, which is 1.0. Okay, so let's try it. Hello and welcome to Epic Mentorship. This channel teaches you different kind of software and how to be better sharing different kind of tips and tricks. So if this is what so this is just the normal speed if you want to kind of create the let's try to delete this portion so when we want to preview it's, it's just going to go to the recording directly so you can select everything over here and let's try the first method if you want to increase the speed you can come to effects and you come to pitch and tempo you can change the speed from here pitch and tempo change speed you can just click on change speed and this is 1.0 if you take it to 2.0 it's just you can see the uh, speed multiplier over here and you can see the percentage you are increasing the speed on and um, let's say we go to something like 2.0 2.0 is like 100 percent increase increase or let's say we just select and make it 100 percent which is exactly 2.0 so let's hear the preview of how this is going to sound I think this is horrible and this is how people can a lot of people use to transcribe their audio and it sounds like this completely not me so this is a problem so how to solve it let me show you you can close on this you can still select the entire clip you can come to effects over here you can come to pitch and tempo and this time around instead of change speed you can just come to change tempo you just click on change tempo and you'll be able to play around with the tempo the default is i think about 12. you can just play around with it and you'll be able to listen and here, this is the percentage change. This is how much you have changed. If it is 50, it's 100%. Let's try with 50, start with 50, and then let's hear the preview. Let's say 50, and let's hear the preview. Hello, and welcome to Epic Mentorship. This channel teaches you different kinds of software and how to be better sharing different kinds. I think this is fantastic because it's just sound like me, and I just need to reduce this maybe to 25 and you will hear it is going to sound much better. But the key thing is, it is me, not a chipmunk. Hello and welcome to Epic Mentorship. This channel teaches you different kind of software and how to be better. I think this is fantastic. So generally, once you're okay with it, you can just go ahead and click on apply and it's going to apply to all the recording and you're going to sound the way it is. This is you and then the, not a chipmunk. And this is just how to do it. This channel teaches you different kind of software and how to be better sharing different kind of tips and tricks. So I think this is very nice. This is okay. So all you need is just to come over here to file, to export, and you can export your your audio in MP3, or you can export in WAV file. You can specify the files from here, uh, the file format from here. Is it a WAV or an MP3? I usually export in MP3. You can just give it a name. 
and you can specify the location where you want to save it and just go ahead and export and it's going to export everything in the format you have specified so that brings us to the end of this i hope you enjoyed this video thanks for watching and i will see you in the next one bye bye